Ladies and gentlemen, the rapidly growing importance of energy efficiency reveals a strong demand to recovery of waste energy from engines and vehicles. Soft and Way Incorporated presents the study of usage of Axe Cycle Heat Balance Calculation Tool for study of waste heat recovery systems. This demo will show the basic and advanced waste heat recovery cycles, shows the results of different working fluids usage, outline the approaches to define operating ranges of heat recovery systems. Vehicles with high mileage and large payloads, such as line haul and heavy duty trucks, typically lost about 33% on engine cooling and 36% in exhaust gases. Cooling system is featured with low temperatures, below 100 Celsius and can't be effectively be used for heat recovery. But exhaust with a high temperature is a primary target of heat recovery systems. The most reasonable points to extract useful energy are the exhaust gas recirculation system and exhaust pipe. The scope of this study is devoted to heat recovery systems based on Rankine cycle. The Rankine cycle describes a set of thermodynamic processes that extract waste heat from the engine and produce usable power. Simplest Rankine cycle includes Exhaust boiler transfers waste heat energy from the exhaust gas stream to draw working fluid to vapor state. Superheater or boiler transfers waste heat energy from the exhaust gas recirculation system to draw working fluid to superheated state. A turbine expander takes energy from the working fluid to produce mechanical power. Then working fluid passes through the condenser that rejects unused heat energy from the working fluid and draw it to liquid state before starting a new cycle. Pump provides required pressure to that allows to reach superheated state of working fluid. The process plot on temperature versus enthalpy diagram shows the main parts of Rankine cycle. Heating up to boiling point. Evaporating to vapor state. Superheating. Process in turbine. Cooling to condensing temperature. Condensing to liquid state to start new cycle. As a temperature of exhaust gases is about 400, 500 Celsius, then not only the refrigerants but in more high temperature working fluids can be used. In a scope of this study, three types of working fluids will be considered. Refrigerant R245 is featured with critical point of 154 Celsius and pressure about 36 bar. Maximum available temperature is 166 Celsius. Ethanol is featured with critical point of 241 Celsius and pressure about 61 bar. Maximum available temperature is 377 Celsius. Water, steam is featured with critical point of 347 Celsius and pressure about 220 bar. Maximum available temperature is 1727 Celsius. The objective of current study is to define a range of operating parameters that is pressure and temperature for each type of working fluid and compare simple cycle with more advanced with usage of recuperation. The following cases uses an estimated heat rate specific for combustion engine of 200 kilowatts of output power. The exhaust gas recirculation and exhaust heat sources are commonly used in waste heat recovery systems. It may be connected in parallel or in series. The choice of particular configuration depends on engine design. From point of view of heat balance both configurations are very similar. In parallel configuration the flow after pump is divided in two parts. One part goes through exhaust gas recirculation heat exchanger and other goes through exhaust heat exchanger and then are mixing taking in account that most working fluids have maximum allowable temperature below exhaust gases, working fluids in both exchangers have to be heated to same temperature to gain maximum efficiency. This requires special means for flow rate control. In serial configuration working fluid goes through both heat exchangers in sequence. The first is usually exhaust heat exchangers as has lower temperature. Here the temperature of working fluid is raised up to vapor state. In exhaust gas recirculation, working U is draw superheated state. 
in serial configuration is not necessary to control flow rate in each exchanger. Additionally it allows to use different designs for each of exchangers, suitable to flow state. As we are here focused on overall waste heat recovery systems performance, it is convenient to substitute two heat exchangers with single equivalent heat source. In this case fixed boundary conditions are used for temperature downstream heat sources. Mass flow rate through each is calculated. Total mass flow rate is 1.261 kg seconds. Two parallel heat sources are substituted with single one with total heat rate of two. As it is evident mass flow rate is equal to case with two parallel. In the case of serial configuration, fixed boundary conditions are used for temperature upstream and downstream the serial of heat sources. Mass flow rate through each is calculated. Total mass flow rate is 1.261 kg seconds. It is exactly the same as for one heater with equivalent heat rate. This small study shows that either parallel or serial heat sources may be correctly replaced with one using summary heat rate. Considered waste heat recovery systems configurations. Two configuration will be considered in current study in recuperating rank in cycle and rank in cycle with recuperation. Say a to of Karinas to determine the working range of operational parameters pressure and temperature for both configurations. Working fluids. Refrigerant are 245 Fa, ethanol and water steam. Heat rate of heat source is 250 kilowatt. Due to design constraints maximum pressure is limited to 30 bar. Pressure on condenser inlet is 2 bar. Temperature is limited to 400 Celsius or maximum available for used fluid. Study background. It is evident the temperature on turbine inlet for each pressure value have to be higher than fluid boiling temperature. The lowest temperature limit point lies where the pressure isolates crosses vapor saturation line on fluid diagram. This points are marked with red circles. The cases with different fluids will have different operating ranges. To define the whole operating range X cycle multi-run map option will be used. The typical map for power versus temperature at fixed pressure is shown here. There are charts for turbine inlet fluid quality versus temperature at fixed pressure. When this two plots been overlapped, it becomes evident that working range started where fluid quality becomes unity. Such maps will be used in this study to show operating ranges. Simple, unrecuperated Rankin cycle modeled in AXE cycle. Cycle model includes heat source, turbine, condenser and pump. Calculation data are presented for operation point of 20 bars, 160 Celsius. Simple waste heat recovery rank in cycle with R245 FA fluid. Simple, unrecuperated rank in cycle modeled in AX cycle. Cycle model includes heat source, turbine, condenser and pump. Calculation data are presented for operation point of 20 bars, 160 Celsius. Power versus temperature. An efficiency versus temperature plots show that operating range narrows when pressure been increased. It is convenient to present map results as 3D surface. Here, X and Y axes are for pressure and temperature. Z axis is for power or efficiency. After points with fluid quality less than unity been eliminated, color contour shows operating range. R245 FA cycle. Process for 20 bar, 160 Celsius. Simple waste heat recovery rank in cycle with ethanol fluid. Next case shows simple heat recovery cycle with ethanol as working fluid. Ethanol is featured with more than twice allowable temperature than R245. Calculation data are presented for operation point of 30 bars, 300 Celsius. Ethanol cycle. 
Power versus temperature plot. Ethanol cycle. Efficiency versus temperature plot. Ethanol cycle. Contours of power versus temperature and pressure defines operational range. Ethanol cycle. Process for 30 bar, 300 Celsius. Simple waste heat recovery rank in cycle with water fluid. As a temperature of heat sources is sufficient to vaporize water, such cycle is worth to be studied too. Here we are not limited with fluid allowable temperature, and maximal temperature can be taken. Calculation data are presented for operation point of 30 bars, 400 Celsius. Water cycle. Power versus temperature plot. Water cycle. Efficiency versus temperature plot. Water cycle. Contours of power versus temperature and pressure defines operational range. Water cycle. Process for 30 bar, 400 Celsius. In Rankine cycle, the amount of heat corresponded to fluid cooling and condensing is lost. It decreases cycle efficiency. If loss of condensing heat is inevitable, then part of heat lost on cooling may be used for regeneration. It is noticeable that the cycles on different fluids have different regeneration availability. There are resources for regeneration on R245 FA and ethanol cycles. Water cycle, at least for one stage configuration, is not suitable for regeneration. Recuperated configuration. Recuperation is used to increase cycle efficiency. In recuperated cycle the heat exchanger is placed downstream turbine. It allows to preheat fluid before it comes to heater. Temperature entropy diagram shows the amount of heat extracted before condenser with recuperator. This heat is used for preheat fluid on heater inlet. Now temperature on condenser inlet is significantly lower and temperature on heater inlet is increased. These helps to increase cycle efficiency. Pressure enthalpy diagram shows the amount of heat extracted before condenser with recuperator and used for preheat fluid on heater inlet. Recuperated waste heat recovery rank in cycle with R245 FA fluid. There is recuperated waste heat recovery rank in cycle with R245 FA as working fluid for operation point of 20 bars, 160 Celsius. The output flow after turbine is about 102 Celsius. It allows to use recuperator to heat liquid after pump from 34 up to 74 Celsius. Recuperated R245 FA cycle. Power versus temperature. Recuperated R245 FA cycle. Efficiency versus temperature. Recuperated R245 FA cycle. Contours of power versus temperature and pressure defines operational range. The processes of simple and recuperated R245 FA cycles. Recuperated waste heat recovery rank in cycle with ethanol fluid. There is recuperated waste heat recovery rank in cycle with ethanol as working fluid for operation point of 30 bars, 300 Celsius. The output flow after turbine is about 195 Celsius. It allows to use recuperator to heat liquid after pump from 97 up to 142 Celsius. Recuperated ethanol cycle. Power versus temperature plot. Recuperated ethanol cycle. Efficiency versus temperature plot. Recuperated ethanol cycle. Contours of power versus temperature and pressure defines operational range. Pressure enthalpy diagram shows the amount of heat extracted before condenser with recuperator and used for preheat fluid on heater inlet. Study summary. 
cycles with recuperation and water cycle are featured with increased net power production and thermal efficiency. Net power vary from 37.6 kW for simple R245 FA cycle, up to 44.15 for water cycle. Thermal efficiency vary from 15% for simple R245 FA cycle, up to 17.76% for water cycle. Thanks for your time. Visit www.axcycle.com and get free trial for 30 days. Visit www.axcycle.com and get free trial for 30 days.